This is code.org, and let's take a look at what we're doing here. All right, is this a fish? Garbage dump in the water affects marine life. In this activity, you will be programmed or you will program or train AI artificial intelligence to identify fish or trash. Let's clean up all, let's clean up the ocean. Click anywhere on the screen. Great. Let's meet AI. Hi, AI. AI does not know if an object is a fish or trash, but it can process images and identify patterns. Cool. To program AI, use the button to label an image as a fish or not a fish. The training you provide will teach AI to recognize patterns on its own. Let's get started. Keep in mind, guys, uh, you'll see this in life when you get one of those Google security check things and it says click on an Im the images that contain um, stoplights. That's, that's Google's artificial intelligence learning or looking for patterns and images of stoplights. Oh, there's this darker black component. There's possibly a red green light on it. Uh, all of that stuff is you're helping them with their AI and you're getting access to your account. So is this a fish? Definitely a fish. Not a fish. Not a fish. A fish. That is clearly watermelon, but we'll pretend fish. 17 billion pounds of plastic enter the ocean each year. Ah, you're programming or training AI. With each click, keep going. Thanks. Fish. Fish. Nope. Okay. Fish. Still a watermelon. Not a fish. Not a fish. Definitely a fish. Hopefully you're killing on this. 80% of the ocean pollution come from debris. Estimates, yeah. Stop. Uh, don't litter, basically. Yep. AI learns from choices. If you make wrong choices, it will repeat your mistakes. Keep training. Fish, 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 fish. Not fish, not fish, not fish, not fish, not fish, not fish, not fish. Banana. That is a weird fish. Fish, fish. Great work. The data you provide AI, the more it learns. Keep training AI or continue when ready. Boom. I'll do a bit more because, you know, why not be an overachiever? Not a fish. Fishy, 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 fishy. Not a fish, not a fish. Fish. Nope. It's kind of addicting. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Now let's see if AI knows what a fish looks like. Run. AI will analyze a random set of objects and label them based on your training. Cool. Let's go. Yeah. Killing it. Do we have to train more? Ah, oh, we're in a fight. All right, let's keep going. Based on your learning, here are some of the objects AI identified as fish. How did it go? How did, what did AI do? Do I get to vote? Click here to switch between objects and identify as not. Oh, okay. You can train AI even more. Okay, when you're ready. So I can tell AI, yo, that's no. Nope, it's not letting me. Okay. So we can train a bit more, and I actually kind of want to because I'm obsessed. No. Yes. No. No. <gasps> oh, no! Whoopsie daisies. Might have ruined everything there. I am probably have sped this up by now, but I just gotta say I'm a master. Ooh, a light bulb. No. Okay. Let's try that again. You better do better, dude. Speed up. Two times. Yeah. Killing it. Best AI ever. Oh, it just... That's right. Oh, no, there's no fishies? Okay. Sweet. Onward. This is code.org. Let's see. So far, we've trained AI to identify objects as either fish or not a fish. That's true. What if this training data was used to decide what belonged in water? What would happen to other sea creatures? Does our training approach cause unintended consequences? Uh, yeah, we only did fish. Good, 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 good. Uh-oh. Because we never taught it or showed it these other creatures. So it's not going to be able to do it correctly. They're not fish, they belong in the water. AI only learns what we teach it, yeah. 
Does this belong in the water? Nope. So we're going to do some more training here. Yes. Did you know ocean plastic debris can harm fish, seabirds, marine animals, protecting seabirds and marine life? Many reasons to keep the ocean clean. Yes. Don't litter. It's bad. You don't want to kill these adorable whales. Doop. Choop. Not a. Nope. Hello, otter. Noop. Fishy. 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 Probably send nuts. Okay. Two. Wow. Yikes. 80. Oh. Don't litter. You hurt sea turtles. No, not that. No. I guess that's a sea snail. No. No. Fishy. Oh. Octopus. Otter. Fish. Star. Fish. Whale. Fish. Star. Otter. No. The more data you provide AI, the better it will do. Okay. No. Yes. Yes. <gasps> dolphin. Hadn't seen that before. Good thing we got that. Don't want to be a dolphin. <gasps> Turtle. <gasps> Turtle. 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 I like the turtle. Crab. All right, let's see how I do. Yeah, you better do a better job or you're fired. Speed it up here. Yep. Oh! Huh? It just killed something. Huh? Okay, maybe need to train a bit more. Yeah, I'm prideful. We're going to do a bit more training. Train more. Yes. All right, so that's pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, get it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Saving lives. Saving lives. Saving lives. Ooh, ooh, yep, 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 yep. Saving lives. I'm a hero. Continue. Yeah. Onward. This is code.org. Let's see what we have. What type of fish do you want to train AI to detect? Okay, green. Oh, let's teach AI a new word by showing it examples of that type of fish. Okay. I got too many wrong. Okay, let's go. Yep, let's see what's green. Go. Looking good. All right, let's check out my results. Yeah. Ooh, color is it just learned? That would make sense because that's what we trained it on. Continue. Oh, cool. Onward. Now let's see if AI can learn le a less obvious word. Ah, this is up more to interpretation. Fierce, wild, scary, playful, awesome, fast. Awesome is kind of an opinion. A word that depends on your opinion. It's up to you to pick the fish. Yeah, and so this is difficult because opinion based. That's kind of smiling. That, that's, that, no. Well, he's a grumpy Gus. I never did that. Don't make fun of me for talking like that. Um. Is it fair to use artificial intelligence to judge a fish by the looks? While AI might seem fair and neutral, its analysis comes from training we provide. What unintended bias could this cause? Yeah, so if I'm in a culture where I associate, I don't know, smiling with happiness and open mouth with being fierce, that could be interpreted wrong if I'm looking for, I don't know, an angry criminal on police camera. So I think that's happy. Right, is that person laughing or growling? I'm not. You're grumpy. Ooh. And so these things that are more up to judgment are going to be problematic. It's also if we give AI, maybe, unequal samples. So maybe in a particular city, it is much more likely for men to be buying shoes in this one city somewhere. And so we put that data to a computer, and then a computer assumes only men buy shoes, which is if we took a broader sample, that wouldn't be true. And that's the dangers of some of this data, is we got to keep in mind where it's being provided and how it's getting uh, used by a computer that doesn't really understand it. It just looks for a pattern with what it's given. For instance, if my mother was doing this and writing pizza or chocolate, which she's not a huge fan of, a computer would decide those things are gross and my mother is wrong. Okay, let's see if I got this arbitrary principle. Oh, happy. Down. Let's give it a shot. Yep, happy fish. Let's see. And I'm sure you did something different. Well, most likely. Ooh, yeah. 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 
Yeah, only get the happy ones. Well, what I think is happy. If you disagree, you're probably right. Smile to go away. Onward. Looking pretty good, but we should keep in mind how this is up to interpretation. By choosing new word, or I can click finish. I'm going to go ahead and click finish. You might want to do some new words. All right. Think about examples of machine learning you may have encountered in the past, such as a website that recommends a video you're interested in. Are recommendations ever wrong or unfair? Give an example and explain how this could be addressed. Hmm. So I once watched a show about extreme special effects makeup and costumes because I'm deeply predictable. And all of a sudden I got all of these recommendations for shows about makeup, which I'm not exactly interested in. I was interested in special effects and sci-fi stuff. So that could be an example for me. You, of course, should have your own. But what you would focus on is give specific example. This could also work on in ads, right? So I might look up a car because I'm curious about how fast it goes or something. And suddenly I get all these car ads. But what if I didn't even have a license? So you want to think about how these could be odd or maybe even unfair. Give a specific example, such as video recommendations, Amazon ads, all of that type of stuff. And then how might this be solved? Well, I think it could have been solved if, if I was asked my opinion real quick. Like maybe the, maybe the app just said, we notice you like this is make up your interest and just have a thumbs up. They could really let you control more of the data. Let me control more interpret less, right? The computer could interpret less. They could also have a more diverse array of people answering these questions. Like we saw, the larger the sample size, they might get a lot more people who are like me and really just watching it for special effects and sci-fi and nerdum. So think about data size, sample size, think about the interpretation of it, and yeah. Awesome. Let's keep 